Good morning YouTubers, we're off to the garden centre today to get some flowers for Fiona. We had a, a lady called Suzanne ask me to get some flowers for her. So we're off to the garden centre Suzanne because Fiona wants something that she can, uh, she can look at all year round rather than a bunch that just dies. Yeah, I think a, I think a plant. We wind that window up a little bit because I think it's affecting the sound. There we go. That's better. Yeah, I was thinking a plant and I'll call it Suzanne. Okay, that sounds a good one. Hope you like that, Suzanne. Now, other news this morning, we see um, on Sky News, they say, oh, a plane's crashed in, in southern Russia, believed to have loads of um, Ukrainian prisoners of war on board. And they showed some footage on the news of this plane going down, and it crashed in a ball of flames. And then the, the camera, it must have been on someone's phone, it panned back and there's a big puff of smoke in the sky, you know, which is consistent with a missile having shot it down. So it's probably the Ukrainians shot their own uh, prisoners of war down. That's that's my take on it initially, before we get any of the facts. I mean, I might be completely wrong, but that's, that's how I've perceived it. That's a bit of a... bit of an own goal, I would say. Oh yeah, don't forget, I want to get some fiberglass mat. Oh yes, we'll go to the, do you want to go to the yacht tunnelers now on the yeah, way? Yeah, please. Okay, we'll do that. How's the roof coming on on your boat? Oh, fantastic. Nearly down, nearly there. I'm onto a different part of the boat at the moment. Yes, excellent. Well, it's very warm and sunny, blue skies today. I know, I'm there's, absolutely boiling up with the window. There's not a, put your window down then. There's not a cloud in the sky anywhere. Spanish roundabout, smallest roundabout oh, in the world. I know. And Spanish people go all the way around the outside of the roundabout. So this is a busy world. Be Look, where? Busy road. Should I stop filming for a bit? Oh, look, man in road with yeah. jolly. Okay. Oh my god. People, um, what? Well, I can't talk with you filming that. Just know this is going to go tits up. He's smoking a fag as well. What yeah, if he goes he'll be to one of these people who visit all the local bins for bits of. I mean, what? Scrap don't don't take him, don't. Because I've got a feeling he's going to go into oncoming traffic. He should move over a bit now. Hopefully. But it beats having insurance on a vehicle, I suppose. I'm not sure that's legal. Or stealing a shopping trolley. Side of the road. Wrong side of the road. Well, we're on the right side of the road, Fiona. What's he get? No. <laughs> you getting a trolley full, Fiona? I am, yeah. But I haven't chosen the ultimate one yet.
I was just admiring those lemon trees there, Fiona. I don't know how much they are, though. Well, we've got a lot of lemons going on. We don't need we? any lemon trees, I know. No, we don't. Last thing we need. There's about a thousand of them threatening to drop in the garden at the moment. I don't have a lot of success with these things. Uh. Okay, I think we're done. <laughs> Got plenty of flowers there. Okay, well, we've got uh, oh, cameras rolling again, darling. We've done really well today, then. We have. We've been to get loads of plants. Yeah. Spent a fortune. Haven't. <laughs> 60 euros. And, um, and a jar of honey. And we've got compost and pots and from chinos. And we've even been shopping. We're running a bit low on tea bags. Needles, are we? But it's all right, because I've got the Darjeeling. Oh, yes. Until siesta's over, because... Uh, She's still open for 30 minutes, I suppose. Do you want to shoot straight there? No, I'm, no I'm okay on the Darjeeling until this evening because I've got to pot the plants. I like Darjeeling. And then. Um, we've got a teapot, haven't I we? might go down to the boat and start matting. You know, we've bought the mat, we've got the plants. We've been to Chino's, I've got more earrings, one euro fifty a pair. This forecast to be really windy today. But it never turned out that way. I didn't think it was going to be windy. I mean, I might, I might go down. I think I will go down this afternoon. I'll see how I feel. I'll come down with you. Get the mat on, because then it's done, isn't it? Yeah. Then I've got tomorrow. What day of the week is it today? Is it Wednesday? I can't remember. I think it is Wednesday. Oh, there is no Amazon delivery today. That's tomorrow. Oh, is it? Yeah, we'll have lunch and uh, I'll pot my plants and then we'll go down the boat after lunch. Okay. Sounds like a good plan. Very pleased with the plants actually. I really took my time this time thinking what sort of plant would like to live next to another plant and what Did would they, they look like. Sunlight or a bit of exactly. The, a lot of the ones I've chosen but upstairs are very succulent, so they should be okay, they should survive. Yeah, because they get lots of direct sunlight and not so much water, you know, unless you're there watering them well, every day. Well, I've got that irrigation system I never fitted, I've got to fit that as well, but that's another job. That's the sort of thing that's going to take me a couple of days and really thinking about which plant pot I want to get, you know, and the order in which to do it, good grief. Get some straws to fit to it as well. I'm so glad the weather's oh. so bad. Oh, we've got a diversion. Oh, okay. Oh, we're doing, we're doing road works or something. Very like. good. Bunny rabbits. <laughs> They're just I'm 
amazed. Laying, just laying there sunbathing watching the work. I'm but... amazed rabbits can live so close to the road without getting run over. And they're not wild either, they're all different sort colours. Sort of semi-wild. I'm sure they're domestic, but they, uh, they've they escaped, you know, they're just living they're so in the neighbourhood. They've been there for about five years now, haven't they? Yeah. And chickens sometimes. I'll tell you what, Fiona. It's quite hot. I might put my shorts on and uh, do a bit of sunbathing today. In January! I know, it's incredible, <laughs> isn't it? It is. And while we were at the garden centre, I found um, a jar of honey. So, I like it in tea. Sugar's bad for you, apparently. Um, so, I gave up sugar. We don't have any, um, I don't have sugar anymore. But I do like honey in my tea. And I'm on there, I'm waiting for the tea to brew because I've got this Darjeeling tea I think it is a friend of ours sent to us from America so I'm going to enjoy that this afternoon it's about 18 degrees yes it's quite hot today so you're getting on with all the new plants then Fiona I am yeah the new flowers yeah Excellent. So the ones from Suzanne, just got to ease this guy out of here. They're the ones from Suzanne? He doesn't seem to want to come out of there. I don't want to leave them in because I've done that before and they get bigger and bigger and they start strangling themselves so I want to give him plenty of room. This one is a little bit like a bird of paradise. I don't think it's a variation. But it's it sort of reminds me of the bird of paradise. Is that what it's called there? Yeah. And it was uh, 9 euros 90. And I'm going to make a bit of a, a garden rather than just one plant. Oh, that's not a good idea. Why? That was what? I'm sorry I missed that. This this one is an Iranian, um, a Persian buttercup. Some <laughs> Someone cracked a joke about Omid Scobie. Saying oh. <laughs> you've got Persian buttercup in your, in your garden. I've got a couple of them. Oh, excellent. And how much were they, the, the These, Persian the butter pops? The little ones are two fifty. The big one is um, nine twenty, I think. The bucket was about three euros fifty. And then I've got this carnation, which is uh, really smells nice. To go in with it as well. It's a much better idea, isn't it, having them? And the, and the bucket's got holes. I've punctured the bucket with holes at the bottom. Yeah. So. Let's see if they all get on together, or if they hate each other. I don't know. And kill each other. Well, I'll 20... keep a close eye on them, and I'm going to call it Garden Suzanne. Okay. So this is Suzanne's garden, and hopefully it will survive. <laughs> we'll see. From my birds of paradise upstairs, if, if this guy is sort of related, they tend to get on okay with other plants. Um, they got the knock with me because they were the previous owners had put them in the clay pots, which were sort of Alibaba shaped. Oh God, they're all the petals are falling off already. No. Oh yeah, they're pissed off already. Um, anyway, uh, it was like literally strangling itself, the bird of paradise upstairs. I had to smash the pot to get it out. And he got the knock. They don't like being moved at all. Right, I'll tidy up a bit. Okay, okay. So there we are. We're all done, darling. How did you get on? I love the we're. We're all done. Got on very well. Feels like we brought the entire garden centre home. Uh, and the orange garden, that's what I'm going to call it, is a selection of orange flowers for Suzanne. That is the Suzanne garden. 
you've got to zoom in on it a bit. I don't think people can see it. Oh. And these carnations, I've got them, got loads of carnations because I never knew they smell so strong. They're lovely, really lovely. Perfect. Stop following me with the camera, God. Okay, wow, there's such a lot. Looks like Graham's shooting range is on hold. <laughs>